Get ready for the next battle. Welcome to Crash Bandicoot 3 Warts. Um, I am Tuni SA on my continued quest to defeat Wumpa Lewis's Platinum Relic Times. And of course we are on the third game now. And uh, I have something unfortunate to show everyone. Um, I haven't beaten this game before. Um, at all. I checked my memory card. I got as far as the first warp room. It opened the second warp room and then I just never got any further. So, um, to make sure I have an episode to actually put out today, I'm going to be doing, unfortunately, the worst levels um, from the first warp room. Um, starting with Under Pressure. Where Lewis has a time of 1 minute 32. Okay, I wasn't expecting that cutscene. So yeah, a minute 32 is what I've got to get. And um, I basically have the problem now where I don't have the running shoes because, you know, I've not beaten the game. So, you know, I'm going to be basically needing to go through the game as well anyway just to do all that stuff before I can actually do the platforming levels. Now, I can probably get platinum without the running shoes, just from slide um, slide dingying. But that obviously makes it more difficult for me to beat Lewis's time, since he has that ability over me already. Probably want to be spinning a lot more, don't I, now that I think about it. Look how much faster you go. And it's not like you can get triple Aku, as far as I'm aware, on these levels, so I probably don't need to worry too much about losing Aku Aku. I have no idea where all the uh, time breaks are. Probably just missed like 500 of them. Oh yeah, must do. Look at the time already. It's already at 50. Definitely missed some crates. I mean, I wasn't spinning either. Which isn't good. But yeah, I'm already at Lucy's time now. How far away was I, just out of curiosity? Decently far by the looks of it. There's a time crate there. My gosh, why does this control like ass? What the hell? Why are you not going down very quickly? You actually control horribly. Right, how far away? Oh, well, man, yeah, we were really far behind. We were already like 20 seconds behind at that point. But yeah, that um, that jet ski or whatever it is, the uh, weird ass thing, that controls like absolute ass. He was just not like going down at all. Don't like how that controls in the slightest. Oh, there's a time crate there that I didn't even notice. Okay. It's almost impossible to uh, see some of these time crates on this level. On then. I might need to just do a little bit of level learning before I, uh... Alright, there's definitely no crates there, so I can ignore those. And there's no crates there either, so I can ignore those. I can kind of just go for it. Oh, there is one there, though. Okay. Okay, there is one there. Did -de -de. Got underneath that. Oh, you can definitely make it on the other side there. I don't need to go all the way around. That will save me probably about three seconds. Uh, this is a much better time, although I am still decently far off. Look, like, go down, dude. Like, why don't you go down? You just kind of, like, get stuck on nothing. What is it with that? That's bloody crap. Whatever, whatever's causing that. Great. I'm not enjoying these controls very much, just uh, putting that out there. So I could save time by not getting that Aku Aku, but it's useful to have to just blow on an obstacle. Like that. Oh yeah, there it is, it's the one crate at the very bottom. 
Why did it have to be a one crate? Like, if you're gonna put a crate outside of, like, the usual remit, you might as well make it actually worth going for. Like, it needs to be a two crate, three crate preferably, but two crate, one crate, you're barely making, like, any difference in your time going down again. that. Right, now we just, uh, just don't spin because we get stuck on things. And, if I recall correctly, there's nothing there. Please go down. Go down, dude? Really? Okay, right, we want to try and not get stuck. Oh, you. Come on, come on. Let's go. Up, just go. What are you, what are you doing? What are you doing, sir? We were reasonably close then. Like, I would have got that if the... I'll tell you what it seems to be. If you are moving forward, you need to put in a whole new button input to get the um, underwater ski thing to even react to what you're doing. Like, you need to stop holding down a button and then, like, putting a new input. It's actually really, really poorly controlled. That's a bit disappointing. Lewis made this level look actually kind of enjoyable, but I'm not appreciating that that choice of control. The rest is fine. Like, him, him actually swimming, it's completely fine. No issues at all. Right, let's just fucking floor this. Floor it. There we go. Here, like... Alright, well, we lost out on that. Oh, and of course there was a crate that we missed out on, but we might beat him anyway. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. How did he make that? He made that. Let's go. Oh, sh... Miss, it's perf. A fish. Right, let's go down. Now, speed. Now, speed. You see what I mean? You have to, like, put in different inputs just to get that to work. It's not very intuitive. Oh, great. What even hit me there? go. That's better. Alright, you can take the mask there. If... Right, I've completely neglected the mask because it's down, so you do save time if you ignore that mask, which means that I do get some time over Lewis, because I believe Lewis went to get that mask. Um, I just need to make sure that I um, manage my hits, because I'm only going to have one Aku Aku crate now. Down, down, baby. Swim. Hey. You. Fire, fire, fire. You. Fire, fire, fire. Ah, it's a shark that's hidden there. Okay. Go. I seem to recall in the original, like, he used to do some kind of stupid animation um, whenever, like, you had to uh, get rid of the um, whatever it's called, this thing. here, isn't it? Okay. This is looking good. This is looking decent. Alright, well, we lost the thing. Please tell me there were no more boxes. Come on, come on, come on. Alright, well, we beat his time. Nice. We beat his time by a decent amount. That was not a very good run either. In the vehicle. should make things slightly easier. Oh, there's a crate there. I didn't even see that crate. I don't actually know if I've been grabbing that this whole time. I probably have because I've been getting the Aku crate, but I didn't know that that was there. See, you know, see how much easier that is? Not easier, but just quicker. Oh, there we go. That's what I'm talking about. Now that's quick. Let's just use an Aku because, well, I, I didn't even want to do that. But if I just spam this right, I should be good.
There we go. Easy. All we had to do was, you know, use the intended mechanic of going. So one thing I forgot to mention was that for this particular game, I'm going to continue trying to beat his time by a second on non-vehicle levels, like platforming levels, proper Crash Bandicoot levels, but vehicle levels because I really can't be bothered. I'm just going to focus on beating his time and a second will be a bonus. In particular, someone pointed out Hog Ride might even be impossible for me to beat by a second. So I've had to make that clear right now. Next up is the Coco level. All right, Orient Express, he has a time of 1721. This level will probably be a little bit more enjoyable than Under Pressure, but it's still not going to be too easy to beat his time on. He got a fairly good time. Oh, good old Skeleton Coco's back. <laughs> Great. Cheers. I am doing this straight after work, and... Um, after the day I've had, I feel like I need a beer. Don't drink in Tiger, guys. Oh, you can hold it on this one, Rake. It's not polar. You actually hold it the entire time. Well. Try and get as many of the boxes as possible. I probably don't need to get all of them to beat Lucy's time. I seem to recall, like, he misses um, crates every now and again. So we do have that. We missed a lot of crates up there, though, and basically one there. This runs over. It's good. Yay. Um, although the level does end, like, pretty much around this corner. Yeah, okay. Yeah, we can't afford to miss quite that many boxes. That was crazy. Oh, you can jump over those if you're speed boosting. But you do seem to lose speed. Wait, did I forget to get the clock? Oh my gosh, I did. I forgot to get the clock. Kill me. You can tell I'm early into the game as well. Look, I only have 18 lives. Oh my gosh! Why is it that hard to pick up the damn clock right at the beginning? Seriously? Why aren't you going to... Like, come on. There we go. Now this is a run. The Great Wall of Chip. Damn. Double down. Gun down. Dynasty Warriors, gun down. Great catch. Bad time to sip a beer. Whoops. I'm basically grazing the box, and that's not enough to, like, just give it to me. Come on, they should have ex- Like, you're going really fast. Give us a little bit of slack, please. A little bit of slack would be nice on the hitboxes, guys. Really, it would. We'd really appreciate it. I still remember those- I mean, what's that? What is that? I still remember those really awful Crash 4 hitboxes where to get the perfectly bloody blah, blah relic, you had to, um, you know, beat the level, get all the boxes, all that gibberish. Um, and the hitboxes on the boxes were just so absurd that people were putting hours and hours to do that one level. Um, Another noticeable thing with this is the speed drop that you get when you stop charging with Pura is absolutely immense. Like, he stops. Like, he goes from 80 miles per hour to, like, 40 in that split second of you letting go. So you're expecting a little bit of run. A little bit of, like, you know, deceleration first. But look at that. You see that? Bang! The speed drop. Oh, my gosh. Right, we can't miss that three. Like, I feel like that three is going to be quintessential to our success. You can't you can't speed up and get that one crate. Just is it worth it slowing down for that one crate? That is the question. Right, we finally got a mass, so we've got a little bit of leeway. Decelerate immediately, jump. Right. Okay, we got it that time. You do need to be just willing to like ease off on the gas a little bit. 
ease up on the tigers yet. Right. Oh! All right, that was good. Let's keep it up. We've got every crate so far. I'm liking this run. Mask as well. Let's hook you. you. Deceleration X. <laughs> Oh. I'm tired, okay. So tired, I don't know the shit I'm dribbling. Right, I want to make it over you. Never mind. What's this looking like? 50? Oh. Ooh, that might have been close. Probably would have missed out. I missed quite a few crates at the end there, but that would have been close. All right, we need to figure out just exactly how to make that jump at the end there. It is a bit of a problem jump. Try D-pad. Maybe D-pad will uh, help out on this one instead of analog. Feels like a uh, D-pad kind of experience. I am enjoying this level at least. Like the hitboxes are kind of annoying on the brakes, and the deceleration thing doesn't really make all that much sense with how quickly you lose speed. But at least this is a fun level. It's more fun than under pressure anyway. I never really liked the swimming levels. Like they're passable. And I'm glad there's only two of them, because otherwise they definitely overstay their welcome. So yeah. This is a fun level. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. 1603. Now this is a vehicle level. So, uh, even though I still beat Lewis by a second anyway, um, if I hadn't, I would have counted that as being Lewis. But because we got so close to sub-16 there, I feel like I got to. But yeah, I can't go crazy on my attempts because I have got a birthday party after this. So, like, I just need to get on with the levels that I plan on doing. And for this particular episode, I plan on doing um, these two levels. These are my uh, my target levels. Deep Trouble and Orient Express. I would add um, the uh, Jet Ski level on it, but due to the fact that it gave Lewis a bit of trouble, I feel like I don't have time to slot that in as well. So, I feel like it's a good goal to try and just beat my times from these levels a little bit more. Have a bit of fun with it. I'm not really in a super big rush to uh, catch up with Lewis's times because I'm already really far behind and he's just absolutely blitzing through the levels. He's getting like, what did he do? Get like five done on the very first episode. It was insanely good. Oh no, the three crate. Alright, you gotta be careful not to speed up there. It uh, does cost you. Yeah, that's it. Ride that tiger. Also, uh, open invite. Oh crap. Um, I really would like to get back into playing a free-to-play game for all Holler for a bit of fun. If it's a game you'd be willing to try or would want to hang out with, uh, let me know. Um, not doing it for videos or anything like that, just a little bit of extra fun. Maybe engage with some community members. Um, you know, let me know. Oh, that was worse. No, thank you. If you don't know what Brawl Holler is, it's basically a free-to-play Smash Bros. Um, kind of game, but it's way easier to figure out than Smash Bros. There's fewer, uh, there are fewer combos and things like that, but it's not free-to-play, so it's really accessible to everyone. Lots of uh, characters, lots of crossovers happen on the game, so I feel like it'd be a fun game to get involved with people. Um, so yeah, just hit me up. Maybe I missed that too, Craig. I like it. It's potential. It's a bit hard to tell sometimes if you're here in a crate or not. Jump. Oh, yes. We've nailed that jump. That jump scares me when I come up to it, but I feel like we've nailed it. Oh, this is gotta be it. This is gotta be it. This is gotta be it. No, it's not. So I've got to actually somehow save still like half a second from what I'm getting to get sub 16. Must have done really good on that 1603 then, like, fair play. I wasn't really, like, doing anything spectacular as far as I was concerned, but I'll take it. Just got to find, like, the corner here or there. That's how tight it needs to be. I just need to, like, cut a single corner and everything else to basically go as well as it did on the first time. Get that jump to be a bit more perfect as well. That would help. No! I touched that box. I 
But yeah, I, I couldn't have asked for a better level to at least, uh, you know, have a couple of goes at. I was very tempted to give Under Pressure a few more goes, but I just don't enjoy the swimming levels all that much. So, like, I made a pact with myself towards the end of Crash 2 um, Wrath of Cordex that um, I want to own... Not Wrath of Cordex, what's it called? Crash 2 Cordex Strikes Back. Ooh, wrong game. Um, that I only really want to make an effort to get a really good time on levels that I enjoy. And levels that I enjoy less, just be content with beating Lewis's time. Especially because um, Warped, as good of a game as it is, it has my least favourite levels out of the trilogy. Heaps of vehicle levels, heaps of levels that are just not platforming. And that's not where I fell in love with Crash 4. Definitely didn't fall in love with Crash 4. Um, I have bought Crash 4, so there is that. Um, you know, it's not off the table if you uh, really want to see me suffer, because I absolutely will suffer. I'm terrible at Crash 4. I mean, I'm terrible at these games now. Just imagine that times two Crash 4. I've never beaten the game outside of like any percent. Oh, balls, me, honey. I've never beaten the game outside of any percent, so. Oh, come off it. Yeah, this level, this level will like um, go up a whole point, maybe even two points in my estimation, if the hitboxes on the crates were just a little bit more generous. That's it. That's my only gripe. The, the level controls well. I can get over the decelerations. Just something I have to get used to. Same way I have to get used to Polar's like weird jumping ass mechanics. But yeah, slightly more lenient hitboxes would be nice considering the speed they're expecting you to be going at. Bang, that felt like a smoother jump. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Let's do this. Oh yeah, save a corner there. You see, it's what's, that's how weird that um, mechanic is, because you actually even decelerate in the air. Come on, come on. Yeah. We did it, we got a sub-16. I reckon sub-15's in my uh, ability, but I'm not going to try it. That's good enough for me. I did, like, lose a bit of speed at a certain part of the level. Happy with that. Very happy with that. Get ready to face my rat crash bandicoot. <laughs> so, thanks very much for joining me for this first episode. Um, it was Orient Express of Deep Trouble. Um, maybe I'll have another short episode come out just of me doing the fifth level. Um, this will give me a chance to go through some of the later levels to unlock more of the power-ups. I'm not confident in my ability to defeat Lewis's times without having the runny shoes um, with me. So yeah, thanks very much and see you on the next episode. Bye for now. I had the right idea, that definitely works. I just didn't, I just jumped way too early. That's a new one, you can miss both of them. Probably worth like not using the speed boost. Oh, that's good. That's a good time. That's 17 seconds. That might be platinum. 
Nice. Okay. Wow, that's a really bad time. That is a terrible... I might actually redo that at some point because I missed four seconds, five seconds worth of...